In this video, we take back control from user account control. Hello everyone, and welcome to Tech Fix Flicks. As we pass our landmark 100th video, there's one Windows feature we've routinely encountered, and often simply acknowledged purely to make immediate progress, namely user account control, which typically appears to query an installation. Whilst this feature may save inexperienced users from themselves, for the vast majority of us, it's simply a hindrance to progressing our installations, and the solution is straightforwardly to turn the feature off. To do so, we click the start button and type UAC before pressing enter or clicking change user account control settings. From the dialog which appears, we move the slider to never notify, then click OK. With a certain sense of irony, user account control appears in order to verify the changes to itself, and we simply click yes to proceed. With the changes confirmed, we'll bypass this protection on all subsequent installations. Obviously we can reverse this by repositioning the slider at any time, and this may be useful if you share your login with less experienced users. As a bonus feature, we've also found that Windows Defender Smart Screen has been blocking installations in some instances, most notably in our tutorial featuring X-Mouse Button Control, a utility for reprogramming mouse buttons. We've typically suggested a workaround of clicking More Info, then Run Anyway. Again, we can make more permanent changes, again on the premise that we understand the associated risk. We click Start and type Reputation Based Protection. From the screen which appears, we have four sliders, which are set to the on position by default. For most installations, turning off potentially unwanted app blocking will prevent Windows Defender Smart Screen from interrupting an installation. For maximum freedom and with additional risk, you may wish to disable the additional protections listed here. As before, these changes are reversible and should only be undertaken if you're confident that you don't require the protections they offer. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you found it useful, please consider subscribing by clicking the logo on screen now. If you'd like to see more, there are two suggestions currently on screen. If you have a better, faster or more economical solution, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. You're also welcome to follow us on Twitter. Until your next tech fix, goodbye.